weather. Well, welcome back. We're looking out here at the Horseheads High School Sky Camp for a very special occasion. Of course, the Horseheads High School graduation is tonight, was postponed from yesterday, and is now going on tonight. And our chief meteorologist, Joe Varis, is there to celebrate his son's graduation. So congratulations to him and his family, of course. And we go now into the weather. Very nice night for a graduation. Not much going on here at all. We look at our area, just a couple of clouds here dotting the region. Most of those moving out there, so it's just a beautiful evening, continuing to be a very nice, pleasant, calm, and quiet night as we make our way into the evening hours. Temperatures also on a very nice side for graduation. 71 in Elmira, 68 in Erin. We take a little bit to the west, 74 in Corning, 65 Wellsville, so some areas are a bit cooler than others. 67 in Pan Yen, Pan Yen, excuse me. 64 in Cortland, dare I say a tad chilly this evening. But looking ahead towards tomorrow, going back over towards those near average conditions, temperatures likely to get close to 80. Some of us may not quite reach there, but a handful may actually exceed the 80 degree mark tomorrow as we're likely to see some mostly to partly sunny skies across the region. But after that, likely to see some not so pleasant weather as we go into the weekend, likely to see a marginal risk of severe weather where the main threat is going to be those downpours, persistent rainfall and some bursts of high wind gusts. And we go into the excessive rainfall, look, the whole region enveloped in this green, indicating a marginal risk of excessive rainfall. So that does open up the risk for a small scale or just low lying areas, a little small scale flooding, maybe some stream flooding, light river flooding uh, throughout the day Saturday. In terms of timing of when we could see some of these showers and storms impact the area, Friday things will start to cloud up uh, late that evening. Then we see some rain showers start to move in a little bit before sunset. Then the heavier stuff comes around late morning. See some of these heavier bands coming around the evening just over and over. And some of these uh, dangerously heavy rainfall going, going to be limiting visibility, potentially causing some small scale flooding. And that continues on into the night. And in terms of how much rain we could see on Saturday, we're already starting off a quarter, half an inch, maybe as much as three quarters to an inch of rainfall across the region, everywhere in blue, indicating uh, the chance of half an inch of rainfall or greater. And we'll continue to have coverage of that as conditions evolve going towards Saturday. Five degree guarantee today, looking at 78 was our forecast high, actual high 73 today, so a little bit cooler than expected. We get down to 48, so continuing that cool trend, at least for one night before we get towards 80 tomorrow, more seasonable conditions and temperatures will stay in the 80s for the weekend. But of course, thunderstorms possible on Saturday, lingering showers Sunday as we go into the next couple of days. Very pleasant conditions for Monday and Tuesday and temperatures will be continuing to warm up next week. Humid and some showers on Wednesday. We stay in the mid 80s for Thursday.